Hi guys. I had a video, I had a comment on a video um, that Da Vinci's Resolve did not work on Debian or Ubuntu. I've, I've had it work. It's working right now. We're on Pico OS 4. Uh, if you don't believe me, well, I'm going to open up this terminal. This is from a last video I did, which we'll be editing here. Uh, I believe I have FastFetch installed. Oh, it's really, it's really oversized, isn't it? Pico OS 4, which is built off of Debian. Yep, Debian. You see, there's a lot of people out there that don't exactly follow the most easy to writ the most easy written instructions. All right, they will always blame the distro instead of user error. Ninety nine percent of the stuff that I come across when people have issues is user error. They're just skipping over instructions and thinking they know better when in actual truth they don't. So uh, consider this one some fun because we have to update DaVinci's Resolve anyway. So we're going to go and we're going to go download it. One second. DaVinci's Resolve. And I grab it from this here. I got to change that over to Google. I keep forgetting. But it ends up getting my son roadblocks, bucks or whatever it's called. So I don't really actually do that. Download only button right here. Studio version. I don't even need to click it. It will download automatically. And uh, once it's downloaded, we'll get it installed. Hopefully it won't take too long. A little information about DaVinci's Resolve for those people who don't know. Uh, this is the video editor used by Hollywood for pretty much every major film in the last God knows how long. Adobe's been replaced pretty much heavily throughout the entire industry due to it being extremely buggy. And Adobe now literally wanting to see everything that you're working on, which is illegal and antitrust. And they are going to lose that lawsuit, by the way. So the free version, okay, is great. Sure, it gives you CPU encoding and everything like that, but it's limited in terms of codecs because codecs need to be paid for and licensed, and it's annoying. But the Resolve, the studio version, is the one that you should go for. And I know that $295 is a lot of money to pay for something like this, but when it comes to Linux, you kind of don't really have another choice. Caden Live is ancient and slow it's basically movie maker from wish all right shotcut has its issues it's ux problems and more and then you have things like open shot which are which have similar issues to both of them and in the end you're stuck with an archaic method of video editing and it's not fun at all when you could just literally open a professional built application and go I mean, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it, than relying on something that takes literally an hour to edit and render out a 10-minute clip? Think about it. So, let's get this thing installed, because it's what needs to be done. Okay, so I'm going to go to Downloads. We're going to Extract. And once it's done extracting, it's going to go very quickly, because we're on a fast NVMe. And our CPU is a beast you can just hit run most times if you're on cache os you can just hit run if you're here though you're gonna have to open up the terminal for this one i know i hear people crying already about the terminal don't worry it's not gonna hurt you and you want to know why because i'm here and i won't let it hurt you okay so for this one this is the command we're gonna run the problem is that uh this is the command we're going to run because it changed and we're going to hit next and reinstall and there we go and we're off now pico s4 i haven't updated in a while i still need to do that i did ask cosmos if he'll include those uh missing dependencies that are needed to install this he said he will get on that when he can so that's good Okay, sorry, my voice is weaning in and out of existence. You guys ever have a dry lasagna? It was bad last night, man. I didn't like it at all. And I'm going to hit finish. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit paste of this command. This is going to CD into opt resolve libs. It's going to also make a directory called disabled libraries. It's going to move those disabled libraries 
uh, into the disabled libraries folder. And by doing that, we're pretty much good to go. And next, all we really have to do is hope to God that it starts up. Which it seems it's doing. Imagine that. Imagine being on Debian and having this function. Who would have known? In all seriousness, though, look, if you're having trouble getting a software running and you're blaming your distro, you need to stop, calm down, think for longer than four seconds, and realize maybe you're the problem. Because I have a guide on this, and it works on all distros. It works on clear Linux, of all things. It works on everything. So take that in consideration the next time you decide to blame Debian or Ubuntu. If you're blaming Mint, I'm fine with that. Mint is just screwy anyway. Uh, it comes with even more outdated libraries than friggin' Ubuntu does. Okay? But Debian's more updated. Ubuntu's more updated. Even Pop! OS is semi more updated. So there's no reason to blame your distro. Blame yourself instead and just accept that you can be at fault for certain things. So I'm going to drag in the last clip that I ended up recording. And it's a new guide. You guys are going to love it. So this, this video will be out after this video that we're currently editing. I don't really think I need to do much editing actually to this because I use the pause button quite often in here. And the reason I do this is so that I don't really need to do much work. I know that seems a bit, you know, lazy, but in other words, you're given a pause button to record a video. If you don't abuse the shit out of that and save yourself a ton of editing, is it really worth it? Is it though? Think about it. It's not. Do what's right for you. Okay. And you'll fully understand everything. You'll save yourself so much time and energy. So I'm going to go to music. And you know what? Let's go with Bloodborne Lofi today. Because... Is it already in here? No, it's not. Why are you not being accepted? Okay. This one work? Okay, this one works. I transcoded you to an MP3. It's probably because of the way it's named. Which can actually be an issue sometimes, in case you guys don't know. I gotta grab my headphones. <laughs> now, many times in this process, I've actually uh, gone and used the pause button to make things a lot more simple for you guys. Because there's a lot of bloat that you don't need. And I just want to make sure that I get you a good, clean video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So this was made over the weekend. This is a script to install Affinity uh, Designer Publisher Photo on Linux without needing to compile Wine because it didn't need any coding to begin with. Somebody already did the work for you. But the point is that this is just making it. And I did test this over the weekend. And it's perfect from here on in. There's literally no other issues with this video. Uh, let me check the the audio versus webcam. It does work, so hopefully it will end up working today. We're on Pico OS 4. Now, there we go. We're good. That's it. We're good. So what else do I do? Well, I had a good 120 FPS fade at the end. Like this. I showed how to run the script two ways, which is good. So what is up, guys? Welcome. Fancy. See that? And that's it. And then I just name it. Beginner friendly. Hmm. Hmm. Way to install Affinity Photo Designer. This thing doesn't accept spaces. Publisher. Without compiling. That should get people's attention. Now, again, the studio version differs from the free version. As you can see, I'm working with MKVs and AV1s. I do that because, honestly, it's an efficient format. AV1's amazing. It's one of the most beautiful codecs because 
Uh, you don't really have to use a high bit rate to get something to look good. I kind of overdo it. 25k bit rate, uh, 1440p 60fps because I want things to look clean. And I set this to NVIDIA because I wanted to use my GPU because I want things to actually go quickly. And that's what matters to me the most is that I have a good solid workflow. Now, we're at medium quality at the moment. So here's the thing. I'm going to add this to Q because I don't need to do anything else to it. If I hit render, because I'm recording, it should possibly be into the 200s or 300s. Yeah, recording takes a lot of GPU. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, I need to stop recording so this thing goes quick. If you found this interesting, you know, definitely hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Again, it's this easy to get things working. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe.